What's going on guys? It's your boy Rupert here back with another Rupert's Movie Nuggets where we review movies not as critics. No, I'm not even a filmmaker. But that's just somebody who wants to like pay to go to a nice movie theater and watch a good movie. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. And today we're going to talk about the Justice League. That's right guys. I literally just got off uh, from watching the movie. I went to the theater. I was invited to an advanced screening. I took, uh, I'm giving away a gift pack. If you guys want to go see the movie when it comes out, I'm giving away uh, four, no, five gift cards to go watch the movie when it comes out. Um, just go to my Instagram, check on that picture where I'm with the Justice League and hit that like, leave a comment down below. You'll, you'll read the instructions, but follow my Instagram at Mexican Rupert so I can give you guys five free passes to go see the movie. The movie, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now I know some of you guys were like spectacle because of uh, Batman versus Superman wasn't that good. My opinion, it was okay, but yeah, I agree, it wasn't that good. Guys, let me tell you, Justice League uh, came through. It, it had action throughout the whole movie, right off the bat, some good action at the end, some good action in the middle, some good action. So right off the bat, pacing is good. Of course, all these new uh, superhero movies are having a little bit more comedy in it. And of course, this movie had some comedy in it. It had a lot of comedy in it. Nothing like Thor, the new Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok? <laughs> <laughs> Ragnarok, um, that one was a straight up comedy uh, superhero movie, so it didn't have that much, but it did have some, and it all basically really came from The Flash, aka my little son, five year old son's favorite character of the movie. Um, he's just, I have a big feeling, big prediction that The Flash is going to be Kid's favorite because he, he's young he, and he brings the comedy to the whole movie and all the thunder and running fast and slow mo. I, I see the kids loving that, man. My son was running like The Flash after the movie. It was the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. The evil villain in this one was uh, pretty, pretty legit, bro. He was scary. He, his voice was like really deep and just sounded really good. So. Big fan of the villain. I really don't know him that much, but uh, I'm not a comic book nerd, so I couldn't tell you who it was even. All I know is that he was pretty cool. Now, a big thing that I look for is the CGI, and in this one, guys, the CGI was really good. Like, I was, exp I knew most of this movie was CGI, but it, you can't, it's not that bad CGI that just makes you like, no, no, that's CGI, no, why, por que, no, por que. No, it was really good. Not at one point in the movie did I say, oh, oh, th that's some fake CGI crap. No, of course it all looks CGI, but it was good CGI. It went good with the movie. I loved it. I enjoyed it. One of the main characters that I was like iffy about because I didn't know what the other was Cyborg. I didn't know much about him. I'm not a comic book nerd. Like I said, I don't know much. I know the basics of the comics. That's it. So I was worried about him, but um, in this movie, he was a really important part of the story and the Justice League could not have saved the day without him. Um, and he grew on me, his story, his, his attitude, his, his being tough and just like, the dude is bad, bro. He's, he's part evil, part good. You'll understand when you see the movie. So I was really happy how they introduced him. Um, the Flash was funny. He was great. He was, uh, I can't wait to see more Flash movies. Batman was always good. You saw uh, like a deeper... Um, weaker side of him to where he was just like desperate to like save the world and, and get somebody back that he may have caused to die or kill you know no spoilers Wonder Woman it's something about Wonder Woman that every time she's fighting it's just so bad ass bro I love uh, Wonder Woman fighting scene so I'm super happy she's in this movie she definitely lifts this movie up and just uh, Wonder Woman bro girl I'm crushing you. If, you, if you look at the poster right down there there's Four people there. No, five. One, two, three, four, five. Learn how to count, Rupert. But there is six logos down there, and there's one logo. Um, he's not on the poster, so he may show up later in the movie. I don't know. I can't spoil it for you guys. Oh. I'm glad that in the trailers, they didn't show everything. Uh, there's a storyline that I didn't even know what's going to happen um, from the trailers from watching the movie that wasn't in the trailers so I'm happy about that you know if you saw the trailers you didn't see everything you don't know everything that was happening 
Um, unless you're a comic book nerd, you may have already know some of the storylines because you, you've read the comics from the future, bro. And overall, guys, I loved it. I enjoyed it. It has action. It has good CGI. Um, it has funny moments. Not as much as Thor, but enough to like in enjoy the whole movie and laugh throughout. I like busted out laughing a couple times. Um, ah, should I tell you? Uh, spoiler alert. Uh... Oh, spoiler and it's kind of a spoiler I don't know but you know that six character that's not in this picture but that the logos down there you know who it is Superman okay Superman's logos down there he comes in this movie um and it's just the, the the scenes when he's in there it's just bad bro it's like Superman is Superman bro like Superman can kick anybody's butt that's all I'm gonna say all right so yeah Highly recommend this movie. How many nuggets out of 10 nuggets I'm going to give it? It's going to be a 9 for me. Um, Thor Ragnarok. I know I didn't review this movie, but Thor Ragnarok for me was like close to a 10, man. It was just... Oh, it was like a 9.5, 9.8. It was so close to a 10. It, that, I love Thor Ragnarok. I'll watch this one again. Uh, I'll watch that one again. And this one, I want to watch again for sure. I wish I was able to take all my friends because it is just so much fun. Such a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, there are two scenes at the end, guys. Of course, after the credits, there's one um, pretty pretty quick after the credits. Um, it's a, I can't spoil it, but I'm going to say it's a racing scene between two people trying to see who's the fastest on earth. And the last one, I'm definitely not going to tell you, but I... Uh, uh, we get introduced to a new character who is evil and mm, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say but but if for all my spoiler people who want to know a spoiler who want to be like bro Did you even watch this movie? How do we know you even telling the truth bro? I got you I know the deep dark secrets bro if you want to know that spoiler that's at the very end of the credits Very 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 end so stay tuned so it's two videos. Okay, don't leave after the first one the second one um, This the second one made everybody go oh my god if you can't wait and you want to know that spoiler, go to my Instagram at Mexican Rupert. Go to the picture where I'm standing next to the Justice League, uh, saying that I'm about to watch the Justice League. Leave it in the comments down below that you want to know the spoiler. And it's not a spoiler for this movie. It's just a spoiler for upcoming movies uh, because it has nothing to do with this movie. But it's preparing you for the new one that's going to be like, ho, ho, yeah. So if you want to know. Who pops up at the end? Leave a comment down below on that picture that I said. It's my Justice League picture. And leave it there that you want to know the spoiler. And I will DM you what the spoiler is. Answer your questions. If you have any questions about the movie, leave it down below in the comment section below. I will answer it. If you want a spoiler, hit me up on Instagram and I will send you a DM with the spoiler. Uh, whatever you want to know, bro. I got you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, like I said, I'm not a critic. I'm not trying to be this huge filmmaker I don't know. I don't know where my life is taking me, bro. I don't know. Go check it out guys it comes out November 17th uh, This weekend, so make sure you get your pre-sale tickets because I know this movie's gonna blow up bro. As always, thank you so much If you haven't hit that subscribe button guys hit that subscribe button guys like, like join the family the dream team I've been going hard on Instagram guys. I'm doing a hundred day challenge just like vlogging for 100 days straight go check out my stories on instagram check out my post i'm doing more giveaways there i got a coco pixar giveaway happening right now check my twitter check my instagram it's all under mexican rupert links are down below go check that out leave me a comment if you want to know spoilers and i love you guys and stay tuned i got more movies reviews coming more skits funny skits yeah I love you guys. Thank you always for supporting and enjoying this. Leave a comment down below if you want to know anything. As always, que Dios me los bendiga. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. I'm an us. I'm an us. I'm the Flash. I know y'all are staring at my bling. Yeah, I know. I know. It's impressive. I know. Yeah. Come on, successful YouTuber, bro. Get you some fake diamonds.